Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 31st, 2018. Halloween day. Hope everyone has a great Halloween. Um, if you take a look at the market, however, we're not looking quite so spooky today. We're actually showing follow through. Um, if you look at the Dow chart here, you will see if we actually close positive today, not suggesting that we will, but if we actually close positive today, that will be the first time that we've had a, uh, a follow through day in the market since um, early October. Amazing that we've had such a run without one single follow through day to the upside. This will be our first follow through day, assuming we can um, close positive, and I certainly would not assume that. So let's take a look here at the market. Take a look at these charts with a little bit, uh, just remove our bias of what we want to see happen, and let's look at what actually is happening. Hey, by the way, uh, before I get started here, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys have just been awesome making those comments and giving me those thumbs up. Thank you very much. That's helping the algorithm show these videos to more people so um, you guys are the best also stick around for the end of the video because I do have a couple of trade ideas uh, or I shouldn't say trade ideas but chart ideas that you might want to be uh, paying attention to possibly putting on a watch list so let's take a look here first we have the Dow and that Diamond's chart is certainly still in a downtrend. We also have these resistance levels in the chart that we we must respect and we have to pay attention to. And you can see this resistance level right here. It actually translates itself all the way back here. Now this morning we are gapping up right into that resistance level. Uh, this morning we are showing uh, futures gapping up about 150 points and that will put us right here near this resistance level. So we have to remember anyone that got in yesterday that's in this trade might be looking to take some profits when we hit price resistance. So kind of keep that in mind. We want to be really careful about not rushing in that whole fear of missing out and chasing in. We still have to remain very thoughtful about the risks that we take and we also need to be really focused on the price action. So what I always want to do is I always want to wait after a big market gap, wait just a little bit, see if there is some actual follow through buying that pushes us higher. A lot of times you'll see a big market gap, the, the prices pull back, and then if the buyers are going to step in, they step in there and start pushing higher. So we'll want to watch and be careful. The last thing we want to do is want to jump in. Remember, um, we've had several occurrences here lately. For example, this day where folks jumped in on the gap up open only to be punished. It jumped in on the gap up open only to be punished. Jumped in, jumped in, jumped in. There's been a lot of, of occurrences of that. Now, I'm not suggesting that that's going to happen again today, only that the possibility exists and we have to remember that and pay attention not to just blindly rush into the market, okay? We want to have a wise approach to our entry. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, the good positive thing on this, I think, is if we can actually break that downtrend, and then prove a hold, a level of support or hold in here someplace, then we can actually see the market start to recover just a little bit. And we'll move back up toward, uh, you know, natural resistance levels. Okay, we've got the 200 day moving average here that is going to be a natural resistance level for the market. So we'll want to watch that. And then as we rise, this bigger resistance level here in the market will certainly um, be a challenging area for us to breach, especially when we see that 34 exponential moving average coming down, uh, maybe crossing through that level very soon, and that 50-day moving average moving down as well. So 
let's be a little bit cautious about jumping too quickly into this morning gap up. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. SPY, nice move yesterday. It was really nice to see that bullishness follow through um, yesterday. And notice that we still have this downtrend that we have to work through. And if we pull this back, a chart back a little bit more, you can see there is a fairly significant resistance level keying off of these lows right here. And as we pull this line across, you can see we're trying to gap up above that this morning. That's a good positive thing. And if we're uh, breaking that downtrend, that is also a good positive thing as long as that gap holds. As long as we push through there and can actually stay there instead of seeing profit takers jump on this big gap up open, pushing us back down. So watch that closely and, and stay focused to that price action. Be very thoughtful about the risk that you're taking going forward. Now, what we wanna see obviously is we wanna see this move where we hold, we get up here and actually start making that recovery rally. But let's also rec remember that we are in a desperate situation here, um, technically in the market. 200-day um, moving average actually starting to roll down just a little bit. So this is going to create some resistance levels in here that we will have to pay attention to as we start moving up. So keep that in mind. We've got a lot of work to do to start repairing the damage in this market. Also, keep in mind that it's really very common when we get a rally out of a bottom like this that we at some point in time come back and test. Now, we don't necessarily have to test all the way down, but we come back and test a level of support that brings a lot of fear in the market and and that that's what creates those w type bottom patterns that we see all the time so watch for those as well let's take a look at the cues cues have been just horribly beat up and, and they did get a nice rally back yesterday but certainly not the kind of rally that uh, you know warranted a whole bunch of confidence but did rally back up. We have a significant level of resistance in the market right through here. And you can see we're our gap up this morning. We're gapping up nicely, but we're still well below that level. And we have other resistance levels in here that we'll have to uh, watch and worry about. Keep in mind, we are still very far below the, our 200-day moving average. And our other averages are moving down sharply to try and catch up. So this gap up open, again, watch very carefully in case profit taking come in, comes in this morning um, on this gap up open. IWM. IWM, I think, is one of the better looking indexes right at the moment for a possible rally. And I mentioned to um, Right Way Option members yesterday that there was an opportunity possibly here to catch an intraday pullback in IWM and um, maybe pick up a long position. Now, this morning, you can see we're gapping up here. We're gapping up toward this resistance. So for those in that trade, you might want to think about taking some profits on that position. Don't have to take it all off, but think about taking some profits on this gap. And remember, gaps are gifts. When you get a uh, market gapping or a stock gapping in your direction, it's a gift. Take that gift, put some of that money in the bank. So as we rally up toward this resistance level, we'll want to watch this. But nice little bottom being put in here and a bullish engulfing candle yesterday on, not quite a bullish engulfing candle, but very, very close to a bullish engulfing candle on IWM, showing us a little bit of a bottom formation and a possibility of a rally now here again this thing is so far below its 200 day moving average this is a very very sick index and this would just be a bounce back from a very sick position or a very oversold position and shouldn't be thought of as you know the, a clear sign that this is just going to shoot right back up to um, highs again so lots of work that has to be done here in the market let's take a look at the vix vix finally held a, a resistance level and stuck in that resistance level right there just could just didn't break out so that it was a good sign but one of the things i thought was kind of interesting 
is that the VIX really didn't respond heavily to such a nice bullish move yesterday in the market. So we do have to be a little bit cautious and a little bit um, thoughtful about this. If this pops and comes up out of there, that would be an ugly thing. So if selling comes in, watch for that VIX to pop. However, if the buyers continue to maintain control, if we actually get that follow through day, we might finally see that VIX start to pull back a little bit of fear coming out of the market, which would actually put in a price pattern here of a double top high or what we like to call I like to call a lot of times the bearish M pattern if we can get that pullback to occur and that would be nice to see fear showing a little bit of bearishness here let's take a look at t2122 that four week new high new low ratio now one of the things that's unfortunate about a bottom like this and the volatility that we have is we can spike too far too fast and that's one of my worries about yesterday um, notice we've done this twice before where we get that really big spike and that catches those profit takers and we push right back down so hopefully that doesn't occur um, hopefully we get some follow through some stain, sustained moved up but remember the farther we spike up in here the faster and faster this moves the higher the probability the profit takers will come in and push it back down so watch that closely as we continue to show this bullishness and this potential spike up in the market um, we don't want to get caught um, chasing in right before uh, the big guys decide to do some additional selling so watch that and be careful let's take a look at um, the economic calendar for today just there we go the economic calendar for today I, I don't know what's going on my economic calendar is not working very well today so I had to go grab a, a different one. Um, this morning, um, we have uh, mortgage applications, 30-year mortgage rate comes in um, early this morning. Uh, probably the bigger reports to, to pay attention to is the ADP um, report here that we'll want to pay attention to um, and realizing that you know when we start getting the ADP, we start uh, looking toward that employment situation number coming on Friday which is that big government number that we'll want to pay attention to um, so not a whole heck of a lot that would really move the market around today much uh, PMI here for October obviously at 845 is one of the, those things that can move the market around um, uh, our oil numbers can always move the market around too so kind of keep an eye on that so just watch um, that economic calendar I think most everybody's going to be focused more on price action today and the massive number of earnings more than 250 companies reporting earnings today keep in mind over 400 companies report earnings tomorrow we need to be prepared and very flexible in this market and realize that many that number of earnings coming out all at once can create Create a tremendous amount of volatility so we have to remain flexible and focused as traders so with that everyone hey um, a, a couple of trades that I wanted to point out today um, first off I wanted to point out PZZA PZZA I've been watching for a while and you and this little pink line up here is actually a price alert and it it's interesting that this thing sold off so so much it broke the trend broke its uptrend but then what a massive comeback yesterday what a beautiful comeback if this follows through if this holds this trend in here we might be able to see this move right on up here to this next level of resistance so watch that closely that is one heck of a rejection of that low so watch that PZZA could certainly be a trade to pay attention to and then I want to po point out coke I've I've been telling everyone in a membership and stuff about coke for some time to watch this and for this potential break um, coke made a really beautiful break of this resistance level and um, any rest or pullback in here 
on this, if this pulls back and rests in here, holds above this support level, we might see Coke uh, moving on higher. Now keep in mind, Coke is a consumer defensive play. So if the market's a little bit spooked, uh, if there's a little bit of scariness going on in the market, consumer defensives are a great place to look for good trades. Um, currently, um, I would have to say at the close, let me look here real quick so I can give you an ex accurate accurate number um yeah my trade here on coca-cola closed yesterday at 45 percent using an option contract so real quick trades can really turn into great money uh very very fast um, when we break major resistance levels so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the uh, well we've already done that we we don't need to do the the uh uh, please subscribe because hopefully you've already done that. Please, please, please do subscribe to this channel and make sure and click that bell if you want to um, be notified of these videos every single day. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome day. Make sure, make sure you're watching yourself, protecting your capital and being very focused in price. Be careful not to chase today and watch out for any potential head fakes or whipsaws on this intraday gap. Take care, everyone. I wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Thursday morning.